Mother Maria Lucrezia Zileri, the woman of faith and courage, a woman with a vision who is able to see what is beyond the present time. Continuation of the series of the biographical notes of the Servant of God, Madre Maria Lucrezia Zileri. Few years earlier, in 1879 to 1880, through the initiative of Mother Tardiani, assisted by Mother Zileri, a new Ursuline house arose in Milan amid the many risky undertakings and difficulties. The main purpose of it was to be in an environment free from any government interferences. Soon, the Divine Providence sent good vocation to the Holy House of Milan, so that the novitiate was proven to be flourishing. Then, Mother Zileri decided to close the novitiate in Parma and to transfer it to Milan, where she established her residence. There, she elaborated the new rules in order to give to the Institute a canonical form and to set up to greater religious perfection. The work, according to the enlightened people, to whom the servant of God consulted, turned out to be a true code of religious virtue, addressed with a dual purpose to which the Institute aimed, the sanctification of its members and the salvation of souls, especially with the education of the youth. On the eve of 11th of October, 1891, when the last group of novices of Parma became part of the community, Mother Zileri gathered all the mothers and sisters in a solemn gathering and read to them her maternal exhortation, with which she animated them with ever greater fidelity in the observance of the rules, to the accuracy not only of all the spiritual exercises, but also in all the common actions work, recreation, reading, and she established that the monthly spiritual retreat, which was, until then, practiced by each on their own, was to be, in the future, made by the whole community on the same day, stimulating them to a holy challenge of new fervor. All responded to the warm proposals of Mother, and the fruits were seen in a consoling progress of religious life. In the last days of April of 1898, the Venerable Mother left for Rome in order to submit the text of the new rules for the approval of the Holy See. During her stay in Rome, she had two personal conversations with the most eminent Cardinal Mazzella, the protector of the Institute, the most eminent to whom the mother handed over the manuscripts in her first visit so that he could examine it and utter his judgment on it, demonstrated to her, in her second encounter with him, all his deepest satisfaction for such a well-conducted work, and he was pleased to advise her the way to get the desired approval. The venerable mother, with her companion, was fortunate enough to have a private audience with the Holy Father, Leo XIII, from whom she got the words of paternal affection and the assurance for the victory of the cause. She also had the consolation of, of having a meeting with the Reverend Father General of the Society of Jesus, Ludovico Martin, who, having heard of the work she was doing, promised her the constant assistance of some of his fathers, also out of gratitude to the College of the Ursulines, which showed devotion to the Society of Jesus through their deeds during the stormy times. The Venerable Mother came back happy with her manuscript and prepared everything 
while considering the advice received so that on October of 1898, all the files departed for Rome, accompanied by the recommendations of Monsignor Magani, Bishop of Parma, and His Eminence Cardinal Ferrari, Archbishop of Milan, together with a warm request of Mother to the Holy Father for the approval of her institute and its rules. On February of 1899, Mother Zileri went to Rome as she was invited by the Cardinal Mazzella. She received again her manuscript from His Eminence with the observations of the consultor, Reverend Father Corrado, of the regular clerics of the Mother of God. While presenting this to Reverend Mother, he showed great satisfaction on the pages he had read, which reveal the beautiful nature of the Institute and the Spirit of God which guided it. Then he discussed with her some modifications to be introduced so that it will be easier to understand, to which Mother immediately agreed. On May 31 of 1899, the most awaited decree of approval, signed on May 8, reached in Parma. Two Marian dates that fill the community with joy. In the first exhortation, which the Reverend Mother made on October on the occasion of the renewal of vows, she expressed her satisfaction of being among her daughters for the first time after the notable grace of approval, declaring, however, that the Institute kept its original institution. All were happy. The elder were reassured, and the young sisters were happy to belong to a truly religious congregation. The series of the biographical notes of the Servant of God, Mother Maria Lucrezia Zileri, will be continued in the next video.